raccoon. <laughs> the exploration of dinosaurs and their prehistoric life. Greetings, young explorers. Are you ready for a journey that has been planned for millions of years? We're going on a journey back in time to explore the amazing world of dinosaurs and their prehistoric life. So put on your exploration caps and let's explore the past. The journey to the age of dinosaurs is divided into seven stages. Let's dive into stage one where we uncover the Mesozoic Era. The Mesozoic Era is also known as the Age of Dinosaurs. This era is divided into three periods. The three periods are the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. Each period had its own unique dinosaurs and landscapes. Imagine a world where giant reptiles roamed the land, the skies, and the seas. Stage 2 uncovers the Triassic period. The Triassic period was more than 250 million years ago. This is when dinosaurs first appeared. The world looked very different, with huge continents all stuck together in a supercontinent called Pangaea. Pangaea is a big land made up of all the continents we have today squished together. So, Instead of separate continents like we see now, there was just one huge land mass. But over millions of years, this big land started breaking apart and moving away from each other, forming the continents we know today, like North America, Africa, and others. Meet Coelophysis, one of the earliest dinosaurs. It was a fast and fierce predator that walked on two legs. Stage 3 uncovers the Jurassic period. The Jurassic period was a really long time ago. It was a part of Earth's history when dinosaurs ruled the land. Picture big dinosaurs with long necks like Brachiosaurus and fierce ones like the T-Rex. It was a time when the world looked a bit different too. There were lush forests, massive oceans, and lots of amazing creatures roaming around. So, when you hear about the Jurassic period, just think of it as a really cool time when dinosaurs were the kings and queens of the Earth. Say hello to the mighty Brachiosaurus and the fearsome Allosaurus. The Brachiosaurus was one of the tallest dinosaurs reaching up to the treetops to eat leaves. Stage 4 uncovers the Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period is a period when dinosaurs were still around, but there were also some new ones too. Imagine lots of different dinosaurs, big and small, roaming the earth. Plus, the world had huge oceans with fierce sea creatures like the mighty Mosasaur. It was a time of adventure and discovery, with forests full of weird and wonderful plants, and skies filled with flying reptiles called pterosaurs. So, when you think of the Cretaceous period, think of it as a time when dinosaurs and other incredible creatures ruled the land, sea, and sky. This period also saw the end of the dinosaurs. Meet the famous Tyrannosaurus rex and the horned Triceratops. The T-Rex was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs, and Triceratops had three horns to defend itself. Let's dive into stage 5 where we uncover the daily life of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes. From the tiny Microraptor to the massive Argentinosaurus, dinosaurs had pretty busy days. Just like us, some dinosaurs woke up early to catch the morning sun, while others were night owls, prowling around after dark. For plant-eating dinosaurs, 
Breakfast meant munching on leaves or ferns. They spent a lot of time looking for yummy plants to eat. On the other hand, meat-eating dinosaurs had to hunt for their meals, chasing after other dinosaurs or smaller critters. During the day, dinosaurs did all sorts of things. Some played with their dino buddies, while others built nests or took care of their eggs. And when the sun set, some dinosaurs curled up for a snooze, while others explored the nighttime world, hunting for food under the stars. Of course, life wasn't always easy for dinosaurs. They had to watch out for predators and be ready to defend themselves. But overall, they had pretty exciting lives, filled with adventures and food hunts. Stage 6 explains why dinosaurs disappear. About 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid hit the Earth. This event caused drastic changes in the climate and environment, leading to the extinction of the dinosaurs. It was a tough time for Earth, but it also paved the way for mammals and eventually humans to thrive. Stage 7 uncovers fossils, which is a clue to the past. How do we know so much about dinosaurs? Through fossils. Fossils are the remains of ancient life preserved in rock. Scientists, called paleontologists, study these fossils to learn about dinosaurs' lives. So, imagine this. When a dinosaur or another animal dies, sometimes its bones or even its footprints get buried underground. Over time, layers of dirt and rocks cover them up, kind of like when you bury a treasure in the sand at the beach. Over millions of years, all that buried stuff can turn into rock. And guess what? Sometimes, if we're lucky, we can find those rocks and discover the fossils inside them. It's like uncovering a mystery from the past. So, fossils are like snapshots of ancient animals and plants frozen in time. They help scientists learn all sorts of cool things about dinosaurs and other creatures that roamed the Earth long before we did. Dinosaurs may be extinct. But their legacy lives on. Birds are actually considered modern-day dinosaurs. Next time you see a bird, remember, you're looking at a distant relative of the mighty dinosaurs. This was an incredible journey, traveling back in time to the age of dinosaurs. From the Triassic to the Cretaceous, we've met some amazing creatures and learned about their lives and their world. If you loved exploring the age of dinosaurs with us, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more adventures through time. Remember, the past is filled with mysteries waiting to be discovered. Thanks for joining me on this prehistoric adventure. Keep wondering, keep exploring, and who knows what we'll discover next time. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>